I'm uh, just making this quick video um, on how to uh, on to bake mirrored UV normal maps. So there was a subscriber there, uh, D Malinfant One, I think his name was, who just uh, uh, posted a question there for me, wondering why he was having certain issues when he was trying to bake out normal maps. Now he was using Maya in his case. I'll be using Painter to bake the maps, but um, it doesn't really ma matter where you bake them. It's it's more to do with the videos about the ex this pro particular problem you're going to encounter. If you um, mirror your UVs to save UV space and you leave them overlapped, what happens is when you have the mirrored UVs sitting on top of each other, you're going to get um, a Z kind of a conflict with the bake. In other words, um, the baking algorithm can't calculate um, what's what because the, the UVs are sitting straight on top of each other and also um, one half of them might be flipped so you're going to get um, a strange seam down the middle um, where the continuity of the normals is broken and plus one side will be um, inverted so you know if you had for instance these are sticking out they would be sticking in and um, because the UVs are, are flipped also so I'm gonna just show an example of of what I'm what I'm talking about before I show how to fix it. So just um, you know, for people that might be interested in this. Um, so um, I'll just throw a quick uh, unwrap on top there. And at the moment, you know, they're just bog standard UVs laid out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is delete half. And then I'll just collapse that symmetry down. So now if we reapply that on wrap, you can see that uh, the UVs are sitting on top of each other. And plus, if I just come into um, inverted polys, you'll see half of them are flipped or inverted. So to fix this, it's quite simple. You just want to grab half, doesn't matter which half, and then just take them from 0 to 1 UV space into 1 to 1 UV space, or just out of 0 to 1, um, but positioned exactly the same in the next tile down. So they're still, because your UV space here outside of 0 to 1 is tiled infinitely, um, they're still technically sitting in the same UV space um, even though it's been moved across so this is going to resolve the problem so if I were to leave them like that and collapse it down um, and then we'll say we'll take this and export it uh, low poly just export it as an FBX And then I'll jump across into Painter <coughs> and I'll show you the, the problem I'm talking about. <coughs> so here we are in Painter and uh, I just have imported the low poly. So um, I'm not going to go into any of the, um, you know, do an overview of how to use Painter or anything like that. But um, I'm thinking of doing some, maybe a series, a low poly game asset series in the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to use it then. So I'll probably show it in a bit more in depth. I've only started to use it myself in the last couple of days. And I'm um, finding it really, really good to use. Quite simple, but also very powerful. So as I say, I might do a series um, in the next couple of weeks or thereabouts. I'm just very busy at the moment. I haven't done a video in a while. So with that out of the way, we will bake here. So it's very simple, simple setup here, baking. Um, Here's all the maps we can bake out. We can set our resolution here. I'll just set it to two K. And we'll just import our high poly. So that's just obviously gonna be the um that other kind of orange high poly version there. Um that would have been exported from zero 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 rather than the position it was. So I just put it there just to move it out of the way. 
um, so that's our high poly imported um, and then we'll just change anti aliasing and just expand the uh, the cage slightly um, I'm just going to leave everything else at, um, at default and um, activate normal map here so that's pretty much it that's all we have to do so I'll just bake textures now you can see the problem that I was talking about. You have this nasty seam down the middle, and one side is, as I say, yeah, concave rather than convex. And that is the problem that uh, D. Malenfant 1 was uh, originally asking about. Um, so we jump back to Max, and um, I'll just open the Unwrap Editor. And as I said earlier on, just want to grab these and offset them from 0 to 1 to 1 to 1 and I'll just bake that in again and <coughs> export that out and I'll reopen it then I'll just export as an FBX and back into Painter so back in Painter again with the um, dated UVs on that um, low poly mesh that I just exported after offsetting the UVs so if we go into the UV view now you can see uh, they're aligned the same so Painter only respects and recognizes 0 to 1 so anything outside of that um, it just ignores it so um, it doesn't really matter in their case but this is what you need to do and this is going to work perfectly as I'll show now in a second um, to avoid those um, weird issues um, Sorry, one other thing I actually forgot to do was um, jump back into Max. I offset them there, but this is um, very important to avoid the inverted um, details in the normal map. Um, I forgot to flip these, so if I go to Poly and select the inverted polys, you can see that these ones are all inverted. So what I need to do now is to mirror them or flip them across. Um, so that they're going to be uh, the normals will be facing out the same way as these ones here same direction so if I try to just uh, flip them all together they're going to flip it right across the uh, around this pivot point here across the UV space and now they're, they're not lined up anymore so you want to just uh, do them one element at a time and uh, they'll just flip around their own um, local center local pivot point um, and then collapse that again and I'll do the same, I'll export that and reopen it in the uh, painter so just don't forget this step, it's uh, very important even though I, even though I right, so here we are now and I have uh, flipped these UVs around and now we'll just go back here and bake the map again so deselect them all, add the normal map in add in our high poly and I'll just set up the same exact same sentence as I did the last time 0 0.05 for the cage and a bit anti alias and everything else at default and that's pretty much it, big textures and there we go now so you can see that problem is resolved and you're probably wondering about the strange resolution here that's because um, if you go back to big textures settings are all kept I didn't change the output size it's only um, a, f uh, a 0.5 of a K or 512 map so I can change this to 2k and just rebake and it'll just automatically update here you can see now that detail came back in and that is pretty much it what I wanted to show for this video so hopefully it's been helpful and if the uh, Malan fent I think he, he got what I was saying from the text response but uh, just in case he didn't there it is there. Alright then. Cheers. Thanks. Good luck.